பலசிய மூலம் விஜயானம் ஸ்ட்ரென்ஸ் ஒரிஜின் இஸ் இன் சயின்ஸ் ஹலோ ஐ ஆம் லக்ஷ்மண் மகேஸ்வரி அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு திஸ் செகண்ட் வீடியோ ஆன் டிஆர்டிஓ வி ஆர் டாக்கிங் அபவுட் சம் ஆஃப் த மேஜர் அக்காம்ப்ளிஷ்மெண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் டிஆர்டிஓ ஸோ லெட் அஸ் டாக் அபவுட் த மெசல் சிஸ்டம்ஸ் டெவலப்ட் பை டிஆர்டிஓ ஹே யூ கேன் சி ஒன் ஆஃப் தி பெஸ்ட் அக்காம்ப்ளிஷ்மெண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் டிஆர்டிஓ தி அக்னி சிரீஸ் மிசைல் it all started with integrated guided missile development program which was launched by the indian government in 1983 the idea was to develop and design a missile locally for the three defense services the goal was to achieve self sufficiency in the development and production of wide range of ballistic missiles and surface to air missiles etc it has seen significant success prithvi was the first missile to be developed under the program prithvi is a tactical surface to surface short range ballistic missile it was developed as a battlefield missile which can carry a nuclear warhead in its role as a tactical nuclear weapon it has different variants for army air force and navy they are named prathvi 1 2 and 3 respectively dhanush is a variant of the surface to surface or ship to ship prathvi 3 missile it was developed for the indian navy it is capable of carrying both conventional as well as nuclear warheads it has payload capacity of 500 to 1000 kg and a range of 350 km it can be used as an anti ship weapon as well as for destroying land targets coming to agni it is a family of medium to intercontinental range ballistic missiles it is a long range nuclear weapons capable surface to surface ballistic missile the latest in use is agni 4 which has a range of 4000 km and payload of explosives can weigh a ton it is equipped with state of the art technology and can be fired from a road mobile launcher the latest addition to the agni family is agni 5 which has a range of more than 5500 km akash is a medium range surface to air missile system it yielded spin off like the central acquisition radar and weapon locating radar it is in operational service with the indian army and the indian air force it can target aircraft up to 30 km away at an altitude of 18000 meters it has a 60 kg high explosive pre fragmented warhead with a proximity fuse it is fully mobile and capable of protecting a moving convoy of vehicles it provides air defense missile coverage for an area of 2000 square kilometers Trishul is a short range surface to air missile which was commissioned in 1983 it has a range of 9 kilometers and can carry a 15 kg warhead with a speed of 2 mac it is also used as an anti sea skimmer from a ship against low flying attack missiles nag is a newly developed anti tank missile it is deployed on ground based launchers and from helicopters it is used by the indian air force and the indian army it has a range of 7 to 8 kilometers and carry a warhead of 8 kg it is cheaper than most imported missiles in its category another gem developed by drdo is the brahmos missile it is a short range ramjet supersonic cruise missile which can be launched from submarine ships aircraft or land it can carry 200 kg conventional semi armor piercing and nuclear warheads or 300 kg warheads when launched from air it is a joint venture between russia and drdo the entity is called brahmos aerospace and it gets its name from the two rivers brahmaputra of india and moscova of russia you would be delighted to know that brahmos is the world's fastest anti ship cruise missile 
A hypersonic version BrahMos 2 is under development which will have a speed of 7 to 8 Mach. There are also plans for a new generation of BrahMos missile with 600 km plus range and an ability to hit protected targets with pinpoint accuracy. Shaurya is a canister launched hypersonic surface to surface tactical missile. It has high maneuverability which makes it less vulnerable to existing anti-missile defense systems. It can be easily transported by roads which makes it difficult to be detected by satellites. It has a speed of 7.5 Mach and range between 750 to 1900 kilometers. Sagarika is a nuclear capable submarine launched ballistic missile which has a range of 750 kilometers and carry a payload of up to 500 kg. It can be used as a tool for retaliatory nuclear strike. It is integrated with nuclear powered Arehan submarines. Prahar is a solid fueled surface to surface guided short range tactical ballistic missile. It could be used for hitting both tactical and strategic targets with a range of 150 kilometers. Astra is an active radar homing air to air missile which is meant for beyond visual range missile combat. It has a range of 80 kilometers. The newest addition by DRDO is Nirbhay. It's a long range, all weather, low cost subsonic cruise missile. It is capable of carrying conventional and nuclear warheads with an operational range of 1000 to 1500 kilometers. DRDO also makes laser guided bombs. Sudarshan was India's first laser guided bomb, which has an effective firing range of 9000 meters. It has a precision delivery mechanism and can be guided to a target using laser within 10 meters. DRDO also has glide bombs. Garuttama and Garuda are India's first indigenously designed glide bombs. They have a range between 30 to 100 kilometers. DRDO also developed smart anti-airfield weapons which are a long-range, precision-guided, anti-airfield weapon. They have a range of 100 kilometers. This video was about DRDO's missile systems and was brought to you by Lakshman Maheshwari. Please like, subscribe and share to keep receiving important updates. Thank you and have a good day.